It was a book that the British government decided to ban. This was The Last Weapon, A Vision, by Theodora Wilson Wilson. Published in February 1916, The Last Weapon was written in the middle of World War I. What? Who's talking about war? Listen, I'm an old soldier and I know what war is. But this isn't war. This is imperial slaughter of the people. A wholesale burnt offering to the devil himself. You see, youngster, you haven't been there. I have. Thousands of copies were sold across the country. It was unbelievable. It was so popular. The government were really worried because the message of the book, even though it's in, for us, in rather quaint language, is totally opposing war and actually um, exposes the really immoral reasons of the people in power who were encouraging war, like the church. Theodora tells us that the local vicar of Skelthwaite, like most clergy throughout Britain, had used his Sunday sermon to encourage young men to join up, using the rallying cry of taking up the sword of the Lord in Gideon, which appeared to have rematerialized into a mighty up-to-date weapon ready to be used with reluctance, yet with resolution to annihilate the enemies of the Lord. And it's taken 100 years to reveal what a fascinating and possibly even prophetic book it was. Theodora, back in, you know, 1916 or so, actually thought of a nuclear weapon, which of course were long, long, not till 1945 did we actually drop a nuclear weapon, which killed everything. It disperses itself through the air and blasts everything within its range, which can be made practically limitless. It can easily destroy ships, armies, fortifications, cities, as the whole vegetation of a country. Nothing is secure from its effects for it can tear apart the very bowels of the earth should the enemy hide there. But she also foresaw the fact that um, there would be an arms race. If Sir Joshua elects to deal with me and secures the monopoly of my discovery, you will end the war in ooh, perhaps a week or even a day. I know not. Or the very threat of the use of Hellite may be sufficient. And the Duchess, the rich woman, is obviously going to, she thinks it's wonderful, this weapon. So she said, money is neither here nor there. And that makes us all think of Trident. For its replacement, because they don't last forever, is going to cost uh, the residents of the United Kingdom, two hundred and five billion pounds, at a time when we still got austerity. Uh, all the welfare services lack money. The NHS lacks money. The schools lack money. Adult social care is in crisis, um, and so here we have. Um, them prepared to spend money on a weapon today and actually Theodora foresaw that. Not only did they ban it, but they made a concerted effort to destroy every copy ever printed. It's said that they went on to pulp over 18,000 copies. Luckily for us, some survived. Since then it's been completely forgotten. Theodora Wilson Wilson like so many women who achieved noteworthy respect in their lives, has been ignored by historians. Before it's too late, we must provide such people as Theodora and other women who campaigned to bring an end to World War I the prominence they deserve and write them back into the pages of history. And let's begin by crowdfunding, 101 years after it was banned, a celebratory republication of Theodora Wilson Wilson's novel, The Last Weapon, A Vision.